Hey there, Vinny from Project Frugal. It's been an awful couple of weeks. No doubt about it. My cat has died. My loving cat, who was 13 plus years old. I'm pretty sad about it. That's the way things go. Israel and Iran off to war. Well, that's not ideal, at least having a conflict. So the stock market is tanked. So in the last video, we were up. We were finally in the black after a long, long time, only to go downwards again and back into the red. And to cap it all off, work has been absolutely horrendous. And yeah, sometimes you just can't win. This is one of those times. But what's happened to Denise's portfolio? Well, let's check it out and find out. Here we go, let's have a look there at the portfolio. So $73,392.15. It's definitely down. So in the last episode, what were we up to? $74,104, I believe. This is now episode 75 of Road to 100K. So in theory, we should have had over $75,000 in this portfolio. But unfortunately, it has now dropped by roughly $1,700 since the last episode and mainly due to the Israel-Iran conflict that's going on at the moment. So thanks very much, Iran. Much appreciated. Thanks. However, not much I can do about it. Let's go and have a look at the shares you save. We have put a little bit more dividend income into there and whatever else we've generated. So we're now up to $3,406.91. There will be another $1,000 going into this portfolio very soon on the next pay cycle. That's going to boost it over the $4,000 mark, but we'll do yet another investment, another $7 plan, yeah, another $7 plan, $3,000 worth of auto invest, $1,000 on regular stocks. Who knows what's good at the moment, because, yeah, if the market's going down, well, that's the way it is. We'll be still focusing on dividend stocks regardless, and we'll probably purchase something. The other alternative is, while the market is currently going down, if we just left it gathering the 4.6% current interest rate, at least we'd get something out of that rather than buying stocks. But the other flip of the coin there is when you're buying on the stocks, when the market is low, the stock price is eventually going to rise and you're going to get all that money back plus more potentially. Yeah, courses for courses, half a dozen, one or the other, whatever it is, whatever the saying is. Anyway, that's the way it goes. So we've lost 70 odd hundred dollars. Let's go and have a look at the particular portfolio. Before we do that, we'll just go and explore a little bit on this to see what's happened there. So a bit of a deposit there, that'll be from dividends, etc. $1,000 was the last bit of money to go in back on the 11th of April, pretty much when we should have done this video, but we've been too busy, so there hasn't been enough time to do that. Uh, all these deposits here, these are basically dividends that are getting transferred across Denise's portfolio. Let's go into investments. That's probably going to be a better view, and there will be some activity down here and we will go and see the investments down here so fonterra shareholders fund 271 dollars 89 i think that's a bit of a winner at the moment we've got a rights issue with heartland group holdings i don't know a lot about rights issues we're not going to be accepting the rights issue whatever it is tourism holdings a little bit of a a blip there and this would have been covered possibly in the last video i'm not sure I'm losing losing a bit of track on this one but uh, a few dividends getting paid out there in April. Not a whole lot there. $53.36, $11.80, $271.89. And there might be a little bit more left to come. We've got another 9 or 10 days left in the month. So let's hope we've got... Oh, in fact, we've got one dividend pending activity. Warehouse Group, $64.27 based on this. Based on stocks that we held on the 5th of April. So that's better than nothing since the warehouse has been a bit of a flop to be honest looking at the portfolio so the last business day which was the previous friday a whopping 523 dollars 49 down the gurgler so we were technically 1200 dollars in the negative last week and then slap another negative 523 dollars whoa that is a bit of a lose you'd have to say and pretty much everything went down contact energy went up fonterra shareholders fund went up that's nice uh, Meridian Energy went up, uh, Wrightsons went up, and the Warehouse, Warehouse Group went up as well, but the rest of them uh, total flops. Let's hope there's a recovery this week, at least some sort of partial recovery, we hope. Moving on to the share allocation, not a lot changed here really, just a little bit more money into the wallet. 
financial services yep still hasn't changed none of that's really changed as stated in previous videos we're looking to get rid of some of the or at least balance the portfolio a bit more because it is lopsided with the financial services and who can trust the financial services they seem to be a bit wonky at the best of times so we'll be putting more money probably not into consumer cyclical especially now that we're on the verge if not we are in an actual recession at the moment people will be spending less money until the interest rates go down and inflation has come down thank goodness there's always business cycles in these things or financial cycles and the market goes down the market goes up the market goes down the market goes up and they come in waves so at this stage things are looking grim maybe in a couple of years things will be rosy who knows and everyone will be chucking all their money into stocks having a look at the dividends paid out so far there so $337.05 in April with another $64 to come that's going to take it just over the $400 mark for April March being a great month $653.19 April will be over $400 so between those two months that's over $1,000 in dividends paid out this year if we add the other $64 on top of that we're heading towards $1,200 paid out in dividends for a third of the year. We're aiming for about $4,000 of dividends on this portfolio. By the time we get to the end of the year, we should just about be on the cusp of $100,000. We will have been adding more money to it over the course of the next few months. And if we can get $4,000 worth of dividends by the end of the year, I will be pretty happy. And at that stage, we might actually go and spend some money. Maybe we'll go on a holiday or something and just leave the $100,000 there. If we get 4000 to 4500 whatever it is, let's say $4,200 a year, something like that, great. That's $4,200, $4,000, whatever it is that we never have to work for again. Anyway, let's hope that happens because it is an income source for dividends, four grand a year. Not going to complain, that's for sure, not a four grand a year. Getting paid in, whether we spend it or we just keep on reinvesting it, who knows? Either way, it's a win. We could always leave it for future generations or we could just blow the money ourselves and having a look at the rotten nzx 50 charts because they are certainly rotten you can see it's gone down in the week the fortnight has generally plummeted there a massive dip here since the pretty much the end of march so april has been a down month that's for sure three weeks into april everything has pretty much gone down 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 and you can see this big dip down here see it over here on the six month graph here it's just gone down and also on the yearly graph here not as down as it went back in February there but it's been on a yeah a pretty much a downward spiral we'll just have to wait and see there is room for the market to go back up again let's hope it does so when you have a death in the family there's no surprise who cares about the $523 lost you certainly do know who your friends really are the people who comment the people who stay silent and never say a word yeah, thanks for that. I know who you are. You know who you are. Yeah. And that's about all the time we've got for in this video. It's been an abysmal last two or three weeks, that's for sure. Especially with the cat dying. That was, yeah, I'd rather, I don't care about the money, to be honest. I'd rather have the cat any day of the week. But that's what happens sometimes. That's all about life, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for sticking around. We hope to see you in the next video. We'll put another $1,000 into the portfolio get up to that 100k mark and we'll probably do something else after that. See you later.